Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over um, some exam questions or some practice exam questions for the Advanced Administrator Certification. So this certification is one step above the admin certification um, and kind of proves that you have some experience doing administration within Salesforce. Um, and the questions are a bit harder, so I would take more time studying the exam. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the questions. I will be sure to link these down below or this PDF down below so then you can follow along either in the video or on the exam thing, on the PDF, um, and kind of look and see what you need to have to prepare for this exam. So number one, Universal Containers has a custom field on its contact record called salary that is hidden for all profiles except the admin, the system admin. The administrator has been asked to grant read-only access to the salary field to the recruiters and assistants. The recruiters and assistants currently have two different profiles. Which two should the administrator use to meet this requirement? Choose two answers. A, change the access levels in the recruiter and assistant profiles to the read-only for the salary field. B, create a sharing rule for the contact object using criteria-based sharing on the salary field. C, create a permission set with read-only access to the salary field and assign it to the assistant and recruiter users. D, create a new profile for the assistants and recruiters and reassign these users to the new profile. Again, choose two answers. And the correct answers are A and C. Um, so we are dealing with object level security. So that's why it wouldn't be B because that's dealing with record level security. Um, and D is just not the right route to go. You wouldn't need to create a whole new profile for assistants and recruiters. That would get kind of confusing on the back end for other admins. Um, so you'd want to do this for all the assistant recruiter profiles as A indicates or create a permission set to assign it to the users. Um, and a friendly reminder that permission sets are used to only grant access and they cannot take away access. All right, let's move on to number two. Uh, sales representatives are reporting trouble sinking quotes in their related opportunities. Which two are possible explanations for this problem? choose two answers. A, atta the attached currency is no longer active. B, the quote contains an archived list price. C, the quote is attached to a closed opportunity. Or D, the user does not have edit permissions on the quote. Again, choose two answers. And the correct answers are A and B. So be sure that you are doing the right, or making sure that your attached currency is active and that the quote does not contain an archive list price. Make sure everything is active. Okay. Number three. An administrator has been asked to create a new field called region code on the opportunity object. This field should only be visible to users with the outside sales manager and system administrator profiles and editable by users with the system administrator and manager profiles. How should the administrator ensure the field this field is accessible to only these users? This is a choose one answer. So A, edit the field level security on the region code field for these three profiles. B, create a new record type and a page layout for the opportunity object for these three profiles. C, edit the role hierarchy and move the outside sales manager and manage outside sales and manager roles lower in the hierarchy. Or D, create a new page layout for the opportunity object for these profiles. 
And again, choose one answer. The correct answer is A, edit the field level security on the region code for these three profiles. Um, the other three answers were really complicated, um, are really complicated answers and they're really complicated to um, do within Salesforce. And the security for this is pretty simple. And usually on the exams, they go with the most simple answer that's the most correct. So this, in this case, it would be A. All right, let's go ahead and move on to number four. The sales manager at Universal Containers wants to see all opportunities that do not have activities. Which two report types could be used to meet this requirement? Choose two answers. A, a custom report type with, an oppor with opportunity as the primary object and the activity as the secondary object. B, an opportunity report with a cross filter of opportunities without activities. C, a joined report using an opportunity report in block A and a task, a task and event report filtered by tasks for block B. Or D, a standard opportunity report filtered where the last activity is blank. Again, choose two answers. And the correct answers are B and D. The reasons why these are the correct answers is one, they're the most simple answers. Um, you don't necessarily need to create a custom report type for these because you can do it with the report types that are already available. Um, and again, you don't need to do a joined report because it's already there with the standard um, reporting that we have out of the box with Salesforce. So again, you want the cross object filter or filter it where the last activity is blank. All right, let's move on to number five, the last one. Universal containers has a requirement to report on opportunities where the probability has dropped beneath 50%. The administrator has created a custom checkbox as a way to identify these records. What else should the administrator do to meet this requirement? choose one answer. A, enable field history tracking on the, ob on the field and include the history in the report filter. B, create an approval process that submits the opportunity for approval when the custom checkbox is true. C, create a workflow rule that updates the field when the probability that drops below 50%. Or D, build a validation rule that displays an error when the user enters the probability at less than 50%. Again, choose one answer. All right, and if you chose C, that would be the correct answer. Uh, you don't need to, the reason why this is the right answer is one, it's the most simple rule or the most simple answer excuse me um a is not correct because you don't need to enable field history tracking um because that'll show the whole history and you just need to know when it's dropped beneath 50 percent um this does not require any type of approval process and a validation rule would cause an error and the user would not be able to save so that's why c is correct all right thank you for joining me for this video i really hope that this was helpful um on your way to doing your certified admin exam or your advanced admin exam. Um, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out, helps me make more helpful videos like this. Uh, be sure to drop any questions that you have below and I'll catch you guys in the next one.